Hello and welcome to the new Tableau interview question and in this Tableau interview question series this is the question number four and if you want to access more questions then you can link look into the description where I have given the link of first three videos and they are based on from this tab and if you need this sheet then you can go to the link that is present in also in the description where you can click on that link and uh, go to the location and uh, download it. I will show you in the end, but first let me just explain this. So the question is how to get the latest order date that is constant. So what happens is we have, let's say in this data set we have, by the way, I'm using the sample superstore data set, which comes with Tableau, but I have also put it in my uh, link, the same link where this file is present which I will show you in the end and the data set is also present, right? And it also comes with tab. So in this data set, what we have is a subcategory which is present over here in the orders table. If you see, we should have, if I search it, subcategory under the products, we have subcategory, right? So what this subcategory is, the product subcategory and it has different dates on which order has been placed, right? So what happens is, and I'll tell you the use case about it. So we have been asked to find the latest date for the orders. Now for these different subcategories, orders may have been placed at different times, right? For example, in case of accessories, the last order was placed on 25th Feb. In case of appliances, last order was placed on 30th of Feb. In case of art, last date last order was placed on 29th of feb so on and so forth now the interviewer is now asking you how can i get the most latest date that is constant for these all of these subcategories right so what do we have is the latest date is the 30th of december if you see 30th of december is the latest date so basically in front of all the subcategories they want this latest date right and the way, you know, the answer will going to look like is something like this. And uh, if I put it as the exact date and I put it as discrete, you see, you have the constant date, which is 30th of December. So this is the answer which is present in the, uh, in this fourth calculation is present over here. So if this is the interview question that is in front of you, then what would be your answer? And uh, so one thing is this answer and then this is nothing but a very simple uh, variable lit, uh, latest order date. So what do I mean by that is if you see this is also very simple. This is simply a max of order date, right? If you use this formula, what you get is the latest date associated to a particular category. But with the twist, what you get is the most latest order date on which order was placed, which is 30th of December, right? So with the help of this, what we can do is we can identify that based on this latest date, you can have latest week, right? So based on the latest week, how, what are the product categories in which sales have been made? So for example, we can, we will find out from this, once we will further develop this calculation with the help of this date that in latest week, there is no machines which have been sold. So situations like this can be handled very easily. Once we know what is our latest date, right? And in that latest date and in that latest week, do we have any sales? It can be latest month, it can be latest quarter, it can be latest year, all with the help of this date, right? If you don't know the answer, well, that can be another interview question, which probably I will prepare for you in another one, but I am just giving you the hint. So in this case, the answer you need to give me is how to get the latest order date that is constant. Now, where is this file? Let me show it to you. So using the file link, which I have given you, you will land in my Google Drive, right? And in my Google Drive, what you will going to get is this folder, this data set folder, right? And in this data set folder, you will find, because I have so many files, that's why I have now data sets as the location. In this data sets, what do we have is this final file, which is Tableau interview question, where I'm keeping the question bank for you, right? 
So you can go and easily download this, right, and get uh, get all of these questions and the associated answers, which is present over here in the uh, in the calculations. But I will really recommend you that you do some research if you don't already know the answer, and uh, and then try to uh, answer it without any hint. Also, the data set is present here. Similarly, many other data sets are present, so that in one single file you can find everything. So with that, thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.